What is the RTX Broadcast Engine with OBS? So the RTX Broadcast Engine is a new product by NVIDIA that uh, enables some really cool AI-powered features uh, for live streamers. Uh, the one that we're showing off right now is uh, an AI green screen effect, basically uh, a complete background removal without the need for an actual green screen. And it's, Can we take a look at it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, do you want to walk yeah, over? Let's, sure. Let's go yeah. take a look. So it's ray tracing technology, correct? So this isn't ray tracing. This is using uh, a feature of RTS car RTX cards called Tensor Cores. Oh, okay. um, and what they did is they ran an AI through uh, several like models and trained it to recognize what is a person and what's not a person. Um, so if you look here, uh, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and get in front of it. Or do you want to get in front of it so I can explain it? So here, if you take a look here, obviously there's no green screen here. This is a simulated background here. But here in front, it's completely removed the background. So yeah, and it's it's really high quality. This is completely done in software using the, uh, the RTX broadcast engine. And we're showing off here its integration in OBS today. Uh, this is a preview. This isn't going to be available for a little while. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously you see, I was very skeptical when I heard about like software background removal, but this is this is really sharp. This is really impressive. I'm very happy with how this has turned out. Yeah, like there's no green screen back there. There's no like special keying going on. It's using the AI power of the tensor cores in the RTX card to detect, you know, what's a person, what's not a person, and yeah, it's able to just remove all the things that are not a person. It's interesting because I remember a lot of people telling me, you know, you don't need to pay for the extra RTX. You know, nobody's using it. Uh, it was so brand new at the time. But it seems like they're finally starting to come out with a few game-changing features, and that's yeah. So, like so some of the other, some of the other things that are going to be coming out with the uh, the RTX uh, stream engine, uh, one's called Style Transfer. So imagine like uh, you you take a painting like Da Vinci's Starry Night, and then it'll analyze that painting, and it'll basically generate sort of like a visual effect based on that image and apply it to like your face to your webcam um, so that it'll like do kind of like a cool like visual effect um, or like there's gonna be like a mosaic effect or basically you're taking an image and taking the style of that image and transferring it onto your webcam so it does really cool effects like that almost way. like the opposite of a green screen where uh, it's taking it and putting it onto the object that it's identified as not the background yeah uh, another thing would be that it's able to like Defect, detect facial features like eye movement and smiles and be able to uh, like map that onto like a virtual like avatar and like Are you showing that yeah. here over there? So there's so a there's a demo is. video over here. Um, it's sort of on a loop so it might take a while to get to it. So that's what this is, right? So uh, it, it'll take a while to get to it. So right now we're here. This is showing the dynamic bitrate feature. On the left, you see on it's it's dropping frames because of the reduced upload speed. But on the right, uh, it's reducing the quality a bit, but it's not dropping any frames. It's maintaining a, a, a solid bitrate or a solid frame rate, and so it's still uh, solid. Here we're, we're demonstrating the new pause recording feature in Ops 24, um, where uh, if you're doing a recording and you need to like answer the doorbell or answer a call. Just hit the pause button, go do whatever you need to do, come back, unpause it, and all that section that was paused will be cut off. So here they went to the be right back, hit the pause, and it's just in and out. So, um, yeah, so this is just showing off uh, here for the NVIDIA encoder. Uh, compared to X264 on the left, you're getting, what, 43% frame loss, whereas on the right with uh, NVIDIA, uh, there's, you know, there's very minimal frame loss in, in a game. And obviously in OBS, you're probably familiar, we have lots of different plugins. Motion effect lets you like move things around in your scene. Uh, you can output a virtual cam to things like Discord that's or Skype. That's new, right? Uh, that's been available for a while. A that's a plugin. And also there's the WebSocket plugin that lets you like control OBS from a remote de device. So actually coming up here, you'll see the demo of all the new RTX Stream Engine features just after this. RTX Broadcast Engine from NVIDIA, real-time AI SDK, background removal. Let me get a little closer. Wow. And we just saw it live. I mean, it really is that good. Yeah, it's, it's really impressive, for sure. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a green screen without a green screen. But then even beyond that, like this, so here's an example of the, the style transfer that I was talking about.
Oh, I see what you're saying. Wow. And then here's the, the yeah, the augmented reality. You can track the face, and it'll uh, track all the points. And then you can map that onto uh, uh, an avatar like this. They can just look at your webcam, and it can match what you're doing. Oh my gosh, look how good that is. Wow, so and when, once you have the ability to do facial tracking, and there's an SDK, I'm sure, it's gonna open up all kinds of new abilities for programming with those graphics cards. Yeah, I think so. I, I honestly, I'm not sure everything that they're gonna be coming out with. Um, a lot of this stuff, like this is a relatively new thing, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they come out with, for sure. Is there anything else we should take a look at before we leave the booth? Um, so, I mean, there, we have a more in-depth kind of dynamic bitrate demo if you want to check that out okay, at some point. Cool. It's, a little, it's a little more involved. Um, there's a lot of other cool features of OBS24 uh, that we didn't see on the video, such as uh, custom browser panels. I know, that's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. So the PTC Optics, you now have the ability to control uh, the PTC camera with using a custom browser panel inside OBS. Just click and move it around. So, yeah, I mean, here, obviously, you can use the PTC Optics uh, controller. You can add Twitter. You can add your live Twitch view, you can add Discord. Um, oh, wow, uh, look at that. If you're, if you're a Destiny player, you can add DIM directly to your OBS panel. Uh, so like there's there's endless possibilities with how you can con configure your OBS interface. Um, and so, so that's one of the other really cool things about this latest uh, latest release. Yeah, that was one of my favorites and it's so simple. I mean, I don't want to say that it was simple. I don't know how, what, what went into it really, mm -hmm. but it looks so simple and the interface is so clean. You just drag yeah. and drop it. It's real easy to use. Uh, uh, but it, it it enables an incredible amount of possibilities. I actually have a meeting with. Well, thanks for showing me all this, Ben. Yeah, for sure. Thanks I appreciate it. I'm glad I, I'm glad I caught you. Well, have a good show. Yeah, you too. And I'll see you around. All right, see you around.